we are in Leek in sunny Staffordshire. This is where you get, what do I say, you, you, you get cool um, um, old things here, don't you? You get, get antiques and stuff from Leek. It's an antique centre of the country almost, isn't it? So, but, but this, look at this, market store. It is, it really is. Look, look at all this. It's amazing. So you come to this little stall in Leek, owned by... Steve, there we go, and I've been coming here for a good couple of years now, getting picking up things, and you can get them so cheap and uh, really, um, how to put it, the condition's always good here as well, yeah, and uh, he'll save stuff for you and things like that too. So there we go, and I today have bought this. Look, <laughs> I've been after this for how long I've been after one of these? I think I've been ogling this for months, haven't I? Look at that. It's got, look, so it's still, it's got boards still in the card. Look at that. I think there's a couple of bits that are painted, but that doesn't matter, does it? I think we've even got, look at, now what's, so that's, that's bad guys. I think there's a dreadnought in here somewhere as well, isn't there? The original dreadnought. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that. Oh, I could cry. I could cry those off hands, I could. So it's got all the, all the original cardage there and everything. So I, could um, I could put that in a case, couldn't I, and collect it and sell it off in 20 years, or I could play with it next week. So what do you think I'm going to do, watchers? I'm going to go and play with it next week. So here it is, back in my personal throat sore chapter house. <sighs> happy, 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 happy me. I don't know why. Is it reminiscence? Is that what it is? Am I thinking back to a... Long lost past. First thing I ever did a tournament for this was a tournament. It was it was a, it was a couple of games in a local club down in down in the south where I come from. It was a, it was a it was it was a game of Space Crusade at a convention. So there we go. Um, so what do you get in the box? Look, it's all still here. I wouldn't call it mint condition, but it's uh, it's pretty blooming good. All the cards are in it and everything. Look. Complete card sets. So let's, I think we should go through what you get. Have a look at the mats first. There we are. Look at that. They're still in great condition. Still got the uh, the nubs where that once came out of, I guess, a sheet of printed card. So um, I've checked on the box and this was uh, made in 1990, this particular box set. So uh, I think we're in 2018 now. So 28 years old, the game is still, as I say, in good condition. So um, I've not played it, so I don't know how it goes together as such. I'm assuming, for example, it goes together a bit like that maybe. What do you think? Yeah, does that look right? And uh, I don't know after that, really. So. The Emperor's Justice. There we are. Oh, that looks more like it, doesn't it? Yeah. There we are. And then maybe. Great stuff. So, uh... <clears throat> look, look, look at this. I can't remember how to play this game or anything. So some people out there might remember. So a bit of a split there, but that's not a problem. I think I'm just going to put that back together. It's not ripped. I've not lost any material there, so I might just melt that back together. Um, look. What are these? Are these like wounds or something? I don't know. Let's have a close look. That's what they look like. I'll turn counters, perhaps. Ammunition? I don't so. Can't remember. And then we've got the designated. Weapons at the top there. Was that a missile launcher? Is that? I don't know. What's that one? Assault cannon, is it? Oh, no, that looks like a bolter. Looks like a bolt gun. And that looks like a. Plasma gun or a flamer, perhaps? And that looks like an assault cannon. So, yeah, it looks upside down, actually. It's more like it, doesn't it? Fascinating. Fascinating. So, there we go. So this, I think there are three factions, three Imperial chapters. Yeah, it's a long time since I've played any Games Workshop games, so please excuse me if I'm out of date or lack knowledge. Um, 
What's that? It's yellow with a fist. That's probably is that the Imperial Fist? Is that the models in the pack are yellow as well? Um, I think that will be the Ultramarines. I think it's up like that way. Which is weird though. I think it's actually an Omega sign. In the Greek alphabet upside down. I don't know why they did that, but hey ho, that's the uh, that's the designation, I guess. So that's the Ultramarines. So they'll be a nice blue, I imagine. What are they? That looks like the Blood Angels. This is in a time of game before the Blood Angels were different and mad and stuff. They were just another chapter of Space Marines. So yeah, wonderful. There we go. Those are the three factions. The three, I don't know what you'd call these, the um, data storage unit or whatever they're called in the game. There they are. The other two are actually in great condition. That one's split. The other two, absolutely fine. So not bad condition at all. And say so with the little bobbits there still still going up and down on all three of them, so that's quite pleasing. What's this? Cards. Play cards. There's no differentiation so far in, in there. They're, they're all the same. So how do you designate between your, your chapters? Because they've all got different little characters, haven't they? Well, I think these cards, look, they've got different designations of... Uh, of chapter that they can be used for so that looks like a targeter and that's used by the ultramarines for example there we go stalwart as they are you know all have different effects on the games oh there we go there's a blood angels one equipment oh they get to use a targeter too see the blood angels they don't just rip your face off they're not just for throat ripping they're also for shooting straight as well so there we go Sorry for any Blood Angels there who spend time on the range practicing. Apologise. For saying that you're just into flesh ripping. How awful of me. And then I think this is kind of the NPC is the uh, is the, the Hulk or the spaceship or the lab, whatever, that you're exploring in the game. So I think these are stack cards and orders for the person playing the actual scenario. Who's, who's the person that all the Space Marine players are playing against. So there we go. I say apparently, uh, according to the packet, got no way of telling otherwise. But uh, that's a complete set of cards. That's great, and they're in great condition too. Look at that. I'm going to put them safely back in their bag. As I say, I could keep these in my bag, couldn't I? Or I could play the game, and I think that's what I'm going to do. This original books. So that's the rule book. How to play. Oh, look at that 1980s typeface. Wow, I wonder if they had a word processor. Brilliant. Aliens like movement scanner. They call them an Orspex now. See, so these things are all thought of long ago before the, the Orspex became a thing in the game. So wonderful. This was old art as well, really atmospheric stuff. Great. So that's the rules, which I'll be learning. Then the mission book. Wow. Wow. There you go, the different weapons. So the weapons, uh, I think, on the space mission, you pull them off and put them back on again. So you can, they're interchangeable, which is ace. How many bits of equipment you get and uh, orders, board setups. Good. Wonderful. What's that? Oh, some sort of data sheet for the bad guys, I think. Some of the dice they get in close combat or in uh, range combat. What are these? Oh, I say. Oh, walls? Walls. Walls, doorways, etc. Wow, those are it's a very small crease there, but again, that's done really well to last 28 years, don't you think? And I'm guessing that they're the same size as these boards, so they'll somehow. There you go. I'll designate doors between. 
between sections is my guess, or even in the middle. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see later. A bag of stuff. Ooh. They look like, they look like the antagonists these just do. They are the antagonists. Well, slaughter bases. An original Chaos Space Marine. Oh, have some of that. Now you're scared, aren't you? I certainly am. Oh, look, we've got one there. Look, we've got one there. Without a weapon, whatever could be going on there? An unarmed Chaos Space Marine? That doesn't sound like any Space Marine chapter I've ever had to tangle with. No. No, 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 no. Because, look, it's got a missile launcher. Hey, about that. You just poke missile launcher with the peg like so look at that oh, look salt cannon there see cast face means had assault cannons before yeah what's that oh, it seems to be the power fist power sword combo uh not not commonly seen now <laughs> On to the next packet. What do we have here? Ooh, feels like more antagonists. That does. Mm. Oh, more marine, Mo more chaos space marines. It looks like. Nice. Looks like it's got some sort of plasma gun. Is it? That's what it looks like to me, but I don't know. Looks like some sort of plasma gun. A very old sculpted gun there. Oh, it's, it's interesting that a lot of the marines actually have quite good detail. Some of the some of the guns maybe are a bit basic, but you know they're all right, aren't they? I think a bit of detail on them. Then a good space marine wants to be a little bit basic, isn't it? It's up to you to apply the genius for the for the painting, isn't it? That's why Space Marines are so cool, I think, is because you used to make up what chaps they were and what they looked like, rather than them kind of coming in a preordained way. It's up to you to innovate. I wonder how many Space Marine chapters that people play now came about as a result of, of purely player interaction. I, I don't, I couldn't attest to that, I wonder. I wonder. Stands, probably, for scenery, I'm going to guess. Yeah, it fits quite nicely. It doesn't seem to be forcing. Well, I don't know what that is. I'll find out, I'm sure. Put that one there. There we are. That stands up quite nicely then, doesn't it? There you go. I think that there are cardboard doors. I wonder if I can find those. Oh, look at that. Cardboard doors. So my guess is that I... It's been so long. I'd have been able to set this up at a moment's notice many years ago, I'm sure. Like so. There, look. And then I'm guessing that I would put one in front of the other, like so. And then uh, move the door aside when it's open. It's probably... Again, it's so long since I've played, but there's be some sort of action point or action where you open the door or not. I, see, I seem to remember doors being a thing. So what should I do? Should I do a should I do a playthrough? What do you think? You tell me in the comments. Would you like to see us play through a mission in Space Crusade? That'd be pretty ace. Assuming I can learn the very complicated and advanced rules for it. That's interesting. It was actually published by um, it was a games workshop game, obviously, but it was actually published by M MB Games. I believe I can, I can evidence that too. There we are, look. MB Games, there you go. So it was, uh, it was, as I say, a Games Workshop license, but uh, MB Games game. Let's see what else we have here. Well, these are, ooh, these are, ah, oh, that, I won't need to get that out, I don't think. That's just card, that's, you put that on the end next to a corridor. I think that's where, your models start. I think there's four models in each of your chapters. You put them on those and then they move on 
to the board from this. This is kind of the airlock where your shuttle or your Thunderhawk gunships docked, or your breaching pod has, has, has docked. However, you, you know, as a tactical genius that you are, have chosen to seek egress to the floating wreck. Exploring. Oh, this feels like more of the antagonists. This looks like a wonderful. Looks like a Gretchen. It's a space goblin. Look at that. They were terrible. Are they still terrible for you out there who still play such things? Are they still really bad? But really fun, because they're also very fun, if I remember correctly. Covered in Gretchen. That's quite a worrying thought, isn't it? Don't you think? Oh, here we are, there's a faction. Yeah, look, yellow. Imperial Fist, is, is it? Is it Imperial Fist? Ooh. Let me see, get, get one, two, three. Oh, you get five, not four. You get five of the basic models. There we go. Five bases. No. Look at that. One's got. Power fist and power sword again. The uh, not 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 most used must must have changed in the codex. There's a normal guy with a bolter. There you go. Jump with the missile launcher. Uh, holding that very nonchalantly across his chest. He's just ready to stride forward. I think. Look at that spaceman with a sword cannon. You see, you don't see that now, do you? The sort cans all on vehicles, dreadnoughts and terminators, etc., aren't they? So this uh, this is an example of a normal space wing carrying a, an assault cannon. How ace is that? Very ace, I would put forward. Ah, oh, you, know, you don't have to have them all with um, with heavy weapons. I imagine it's scenario based, is it? I don't know because you've got you've got bolt gun options there as well. Um, looks like to be a heavy bolter, perhaps. There you go. Looks like to be a heavy bolter there as well. So there we go. Yes, yeah, so you get different different options. So it's interesting. They did the Imperial Fist in this kind of nice bright yellow plastic. I say it was MB Games, wasn't it? Not Games Workshop. So they may not have expected everyone who bought this to immediately dive in to the painting of the model. So I don't really know what to do. What should I do? Do you think I should paint them? Do you think I should leave them as is? What do, what do you guys think? You tell me. Oh, look at that. Lots of... Um, these are... Are these blip counters? I think they are blip counters. So obviously, when you're just using your your all specs, when you're using your your movement scanner, all you're going to see is a blip, aren't you? Blip, 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 beep, beep, beep. Is that right? So look. Yeah, that's all that says, isn't it? It's just a. It doesn't say what it is on one side. So another look at another one. Yeah, they look the same on the back. So yeah, my guess is that that's a, a blip. And then you open a door or something so you can see it and you turn it over and it's either a Gretchen or, ah, it's a Dreadnought, ah, and you run away. Ooh, more. Ah, these are... Ooh, there you come. There you go, stack cards for weapons. Um, yeah, stack cards for weapons, for all the weapons. They're all the, all the same for each of the for each of the chapters. So there are three cards for the three chapters that come in the box. It says from two to four players on the front of the box. And then we've got these dice here, look. Ooh. And as well as uh, counters. Top that one's for. Ooh. That mean priority. Hmm. Interesting. Let's work out what that means. Look, you've got these dice here. Ooh, they're different colours. So I think 
I don't know what they mean because it's been again so long. There are different sides to them. They are. But I think that the red ones give better results essentially. The, the, the good results are more likely to appear. So uh, I think heavy weapons, for example, are very powerful close combat weapons like power fists roll red dice and normal things roll white dice you just get combinations of a number of red and white dice that you roll depending on the weapon and my guess is depending also on the skill level that your model has <gasps> now i'm scared more antagonists these are antagonists of some quality so not that they uh, ever used ideas from other people or anything they uh, invented a dark coloured frightening tunnel running alien that pins you down and sticks its ovipositor down your throat and obviously a new sci-fi concept of course and uh, um, very frightening the gene stealer and really good mythos that they built around it you know once they once they once they ran with it as their own thing they built a really good mythos around it so there we go so there's three gene stealers in this uh, in this little uh, set oh i remember these wow wow look at these they're like space skeletons but they're not they're not space skeletons they look like space skeletons these are actually i mean the, the some of the people that may not have been playing for it as long these may remind you of a particular army so guess what army these remind you of that kind of skeletal robots they are look but no they're not necrons they're chaos androids these are Androids, because um, robots used to be a thing in 40k. It used to be an actual thing. You used to have to get a little program so that it even work. Yeah, a little cardboard tiles, and then they got rid of that system because it was awful. So that was good. But this was um, essentially a chaos robot. Very frightening it looked too. And it only, to my recollection, appeared... In Space Crusade, I don't think they ever bought out a, a 40k model for these. And then the Necrons came later as a new concept. And I think they are taking into account that this is a very old model. Uh, strikingly similar, wouldn't you Wouldn't you say? Very, you know, barbed. Look at that. Wouldn't like to get one of those shoved at me. It's a bayonet and a half. That is more of a spear. More, ooh, what's that? More antagonists? Looks like a normal marine to me. That's really interesting. It's like the bonus marines or something. They're definitely old in style, but there might be extras. I don't remember these being in the original the original box set. There we go. Interesting. It's lots of marines. So maybe there's a Ooh, some sort of traitor, traitor chapter of space marines or something. I don't know. Or more chaos space marines. Look at that. Look at the spike on that. Look at the size of the nacelles on his backpack. So they used to be like jump jets, those did. Once upon a time, the basic backpack of a marine you literally used to be a jump pack or a jet pack. It's only later did they feel that a bigger add-on to the pack was necessary to denote a jump pack. And then more. Oh, they're orcs. Orcs. Big brutes that they are. There we go. Orcs. Look at the size of that. Orcs. 
orcs from fall before the days that orcs were beset by the need to designate every piece of equipment with a double entendre or or was there such a time i don't know maybe they've always been proud of their shiny helmets finally is 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 possibly for me the most exciting thing in the whole box set was this cool old dread look at that look some of these even take the sprue off of there so that's staying on there i'm certainly not filing that down but this is a chaos dreadnought that's the chassis there look at that chaos dreadnought can't get these for love nor money now brilliant i'm going to make that up and come back in a second so there we go there's the basic body with the legs on all slots on square pegs and holes and see which way around that goes Go in there probably there we go oh look at that nice and then you get you've got two weapon hard points and three weapons so you've got a choice of how you fit them so what shall i choose probably an assault cannon because i think you probably have to don't you and a missile launcher with a bit of anti anti armor ability as well shall we so there we go so you just pop that on the back then it clips on you don't have to glue it together if you don't want to i won't be there we go look and the missile launch goes on the side there. There we are. Look at that. Whoa. See, now for me, that dreadnought, even though, see, the weapons might not be that detailed, the casting of the body and the legs is actually quite crisp. And I think overall, this kind of configuration with the kind of the chicken legged uh, movement, chicken legged uh, ambulation, a long chassis there, bolt guns underneath it. I actually think that looks better than modern dreadnoughts. And I've got to say, I was never as happy with the modern dreadnoughts as I was with these. So I'm really, really happy to have got that. So we go, the three antagonists there. I like those best, don't you? Nice and visible, those. You got loads of models there, didn't you? If you were starting a small army off, you'd probably have enough to have a go. Here, the theatre of combat. Chaos okay, Space Marines have pinned down a valiant squad of Imperial Fists. Formed a defensive posture, but only one more door to go. Surely, surely, with enough firepower, with enough faith, they can come through. Just one more door to open. To victory, to safety. What's behind the door? Oh my goodness. That doesn't look like good news, does it? So there we go, that Space Crusade 1990 version. Um, thank you for, for joining me as I stroll through and indeed unload my bolter into memory lane. Just remember that when, uh, when you open a door in a Space Hulk, anything could be on the other side. <laughs>